One problem is for a lot of people, their only exercise during cold weather months is maybe to go out and shovel the snow. And we don't want people who aren't getting regular aerobic activity to be going out and exerting themselves in a condition where they're already having potentially an increase in their blood pressure and their heart rate because of the cold weather. So we generally try to discourage people from exercising vigorously in very cold weather because of the changes that, that uh, the demands that are placed on the body with that activity. Cold weather uh, causes a changes in our blood pressure uh, as we react to that exposure. It can affect our heart rate. It can also increase some of the tendency for inflammation in the blood vessels too and all of those things can potentially increase the chances of, a, of something happening to the heart that we don't want it to. I think people who are in better physical condition are going to be potentially better prepared to, to deal with those changes that take place with the body. But even for people that are in reasonably good shape, uh, especially if they have heart disease or they don't know they have heart disease that's previously been uh, sort of beneath the surface, I think they're potentially at some risk as well. I think if, if they feel the need to go out and shovel their, their driveway, you know, number one, they need to make sure that they're adequately dressed and prepared for the cold. And number two, uh, take it slow, uh, listen to your body. Uh, if, if you're having shortness of breath, if you're having any chest discomfort whatsoever, it's time to stop and get indoors. Uh, and probably most importantly, if they're getting through it okay, try to do it slowly, take breaks. Uh, don't try to get it all done at once. Don't try to, to push on through, especially if they're getting signs from their body that things aren't right. More often than not, it's people who are having back problems or uh, aches and pains related to that uh, in terms of doing activity that they're not accustomed to doing. But we've also seen patients that have, have triggered uh, cardiovascular problems because of that exposure. I think if you have heart disease, I would, uh, I would uh, advise them to avoid going out and exerting themselves in extreme temperatures. Uh, if it's something that there's a a family member uh, or a neighbor, uh, someone who could do the job for them, that would be the best case scenario. Uh, if that's not possible, take it slow, take breaks, don't try to push through it.